生まれながらの負け犬今日そいつは負け犬じゃねえ明日は俺のライバルだ今は俺の倒し何なんだその振りもあるわ五枚目悪魔のせい Guys, welcome back to my reaction channel. Today we're going to react to Black Clover episode eight. Now, guys, in the last episode, my boy Asta actually introduced himself to the whole squad and the other new rookie, who's a royal, and she was being a prick. But in the end, we found out that she was just insecure because her whole family is just horrible, and they were horrible towards her, and they gave her this sentiment that she needs to be above everybody else because she's of royal blood. But no, she's actually a sweetheart, and this is the first time she actually was accepted as her genuine self. And the whole team is actually kind of cool, even though they're chaotic. They're there for one another, and this is a perfect place for Asta to grow as a person and become stronger. And I love the. Captain Yami. So what are we gonna do now, bro? Like he, like they both earned their stripes and all that. Are we gonna go on missions, like right in the Shinobi world, bro? I'm, I'm so excited. Let's go, let's go. That being said, I ain't gonna on this that much. If you enjoy my reactions, you know what to do. Let's go. Okay, we're skipping the intro, and let's go. Asta and Yuno. I love this story. So far, it's dope. The day begins like, early for a magic night. There like really dope. Be done before the sun goes down. You are the one who told me to wake you up every morning. <laughs> it is also a magic knight's duty to put up with the whims of their sometimes fickle captain. How is this any different from what I did back at the church? Exactly. What does a magic knight squad do? Yeah, that's what I said. Are we going on missions? We did hear that some some of the members are were actually on missions. So I'm assuming we are eventually going to go on missions. It's just he's a rookie, so he gets the, to do the chores, right? But it's not that hard for him because he's also used to doing the chores. I would I would I would think that the royal girl, she would find this way harder because she probably had maids and stuff growing up. First thing in the morning, meat, meat, and more meat. Hey, What's no wrong one. with that? Are you seriously serious right now? We protect the country, you idiot! Keep the people safe, it's the manliest job in the world! Why'd you even want to join up if you were so freaking clueless, huh? Well, answer me! No, but it's a valid question, though, because you're, you're not doing anything. You're just eating, training, and sleeping. So he wants to know, are we going to go do some missions or are they just here for when the times get tough, a.k.a. war breaks or some shit, right? Civil war, I don't know, to keep peace, like, right? Because they don't actually go on patrols. Like, for, for now, they're not doing anything, especially Asta. And the royal girl, I was right about her. She's not doing anything and nobody's calling her on her bullshit except Asta. Don't even take the exam. You don't know what we do. <laughs> well, those two are certainly <laughs> chipper, aren't they? Anybody? Anybody? No? This one. This is the kind of idiot. Okay, you guys told me that you're pissed off that I can't understand what this guy's saying. And it's true. I really can't. I just, I focused right now on his words. and He's just mumbling shiz. I do need the subtitles for that shiz, bruh. But I'm, I don't want to bother my editors for su such a small task for every episode, bruh. So, damn. More than anything, it's an excellent career. One that makes my sister proud. See her, Marie? Bro, why are you bleeding? Her nice things. Remember, if you lay a finger on her, then you die. <laughs> okay, I can respect that, but why are you bleeding every time you talk about your sister? That's a sign of pervy shiz, bro. That's that's weird. Okay, and what about you? Saving women left and right, making all of them want you. When you're in a magic night squad, you can eat like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> She just like me, for real, for real. <laughs> but on a side note, creation magic. She she can actually create things out of thin air. That's kind of dope. Here, you take a bite. You want? That's okay, a big bite. I'm way too full, really. Well, runt. Bro, she's just like my grandma. Like, even if you're full, she doesn't care. You gotta eat. <laughs> Are you starting to understand what being a magic nut is all about? Okay, no. Bye. Okay, we'll be back. Bye. Listen, gang, no breaking stuff while we're gone. Hey, how 
Have fun buying! Captain! Will you fight me when you get back, pretty please? Don't be gone too long, Captain. I don't know how much longer I can wait to see Marie. I'm going through withdrawal. Bruh! I'd like to hit on... <laughs> I mean, get on a mission too. Okay, I thought he was gonna say, I'd like to hit on your sister, and she's like, eight, eight, she's like, free, and I was about to just shut down my laptop, bro, what the hell, these guys are wildy, bro, especially the guy with the kid sister, tell me in the comments that's not weird, tell me in the comments that's not weird. Really? What am I doing here? They're gambling, this is a Tsunade moment, bro, what? I'm not falling for it, this is not a serious matter. <laughs> They're fully nude! Well, I'll be able to buy a lot of nice souvenirs for the village. Deal us in for one more hand. Really, sir? Yeah. Well, Gramps, what do you say? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did he just take his subordinate's grimoire? Nah, brah. Yeah, that guy said they go well on the black market. Damn. And he took magmas, right? Not his own. Please, you can't bet that and you know it. Yummy agrees to the terms of the wager! Come on, say he let's do this. Say you I mean, what what if he what if he asks you to watch him bang your wife, bro? What? Guys, don't be an addict, bro. This is addict behavior, bro. Don't gamble, bro. What the hell? Prayers. <laughs> I don't think I'm the one here who needs to be praying. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's going to have a full house. <laughs> let's see him. They okay. lost, didn't they? Over there. Who's a good beastie? And that hand! Captain Young! Really didn't see it coming! Magnus. They won! So then, the mission must be... <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're fully naked. <laughs> that they lost. Man, he actually pulled out a royal flush. <laughs> Bruh, I said... Uh, okay, I, I said uh, full house, but royal flush will do. They're fully naked walking around the castle in front of the royal girl. Incredible! It's a real honor. Go to Saucy Village. For some boar hunting. Huh? Hunting boar? We lost to the chief of Saucy Village. Now we gotta pay the price. Huh? Oh. The two of you lost in a fight? That doesn't even seem possible. Help. Nah, bro. Okay, so they lost the car game, and now the guy said, You have to do anything I want, and that's his request. And now we have to pay the price, aka Asta and his subordinates. My man doesn't give a shit, bro. <laughs> They're gonna go chase down the boar. Okay, this is gonna be like in Naruto when they chase down boars, cats, right? First, you need to do the low level missions. Powerful was this man? We lost at poker. At, at poker? poker? Yes, exactly. You were the ones who lost. It was none of our doing. So why? Yeah. You idiots. Do you seriously expect Yami to clean up his own mess? Oh, yeah. It seems reasonable. Yami doesn't deal with these things. It's just... Given that I can't control my magic power... Well, how do you expect to be able to control your magic power if you don't practice? This is good practice. Boars, okay, they can be deadly for a normal human, but... You guys can do magic! Asta is super strong, so come on! Should I really be going on a mission at Dummy! all? Dummy! <laughs> That's the whole point! How do you expect to get any better if you aren't even willing to try? Saucy village? Mm, no can do. Come on, it's not like I'm asking a lot. Now, now. I can go to distant places, but only if I've marked them with my magic power before. <gasps> she can't do it either? Oh, are you two kidding me? You're so completely incompetent that you can't manage something that freaking simple! But yeah, bro, okay. They're weird. They definitely belong in this team, but... So I thought she can do the basic stuff. She can't even control the basic stuff? So what? Her power can go out of control again and she can just, like, fly into outer space? Okay, that is risky. <laughs> Fine! Do we have just a have car? To ride together. Are you ready to meet my baby? <laughs> yeah! He's offended. Take us up, Magna! You can't do it, can you? They're too heavy. Oh, yeah! <laughs> this is amazing, Magna! We're one with the wind! Rasta, <laughs> you trying to die or something? Hold on! Right! Hey, watch where you put your hands inside! What the hell Damn. are you doing? Back there. Hey, yo! And who are these guys?
Okay, these guys do not look like good guys. Yo! In the mist, be lost. Yeah, these guys definitely do not look like the good guys. And he just erased those boars, bro. What the hell was wrong with those boars? They were on steroids, having like they were they were on fire, bro. Literally on fire. And that was our mission. So this guy, these guys just swooped in, destroyed the boars, and now they're gonna attack the city for some stone or some shit, magic stone. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So now we're gonna get here, and it's gonna be a way bigger rank of a mission than we thought, right? Yeah, yeah, this is very similar to Naruto, like, it's gonna escalate, we're not gonna see it coming, then Asta's gonna have to unlock some crazy power to stop that, I love it, bro. I love it, Bleach and Naruto vibes all the way, I'm sorry, I'm, I, I'm sorry I keep mentioning it, but I just love it. And don't get me wrong, this is unique in its own way, magic and shit, and I love the character development, the character designs, everything, but it just gives me that pure joy of nostalgia, and I'm just, I, I have to address it. That being said, I ain't gonna pull on this that much, I really enjoyed this episode, hope you enjoyed the reaction, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, love you, enjoy, and bye.